Hello all. Today we are here to learn about analysis of tap water bacteria. Bacteria in tap water can be disease causing pathogens or non pathogenic bacteria. The presence of this bacteria in tap water can indicate contamination from human or animal waste. There are many kinds of tap water bacteria in that few are E. coli fecal coliforms. E. coli, a type of coliform bacteria that can cause diarrhea and other gastrointestinal issues. Fecal coliforms, a group of coliform bacteria that are found in fecus of humans and animals. Heterotrophic bacteria, these bacteria use organic substances like sugar to survive and reproduce, while a high count of heterotrophic bacteria may indicate the potential for other bacteria to grow. The test for bacteria. The total coliform bacteria to, to indicate its presence, a general indication of a water supply sanitation condition is required. To test E. coli, a recent fecal contamination is required. Why this bacteria get into top water and how? Germs and chemicals get into tap water at the water sources like lake or groundwater or through pipes to our home. The significance in public health can these can cause us diseases serve as indicators of contamination spread antibiotic resistance managed through disinfection regular testing and community education what is the need for study tap water bacteria to prevent diseases ensure water safety protect vulnerable populations combat antibiotic resistance and to improve public health Culture media. It is a liquid or gel that provides nutrients, energy and growth factors for microorganisms. The types of culture media are three types. Nutrient agar, Mekon ke agar, R2A agar. In this, we use few instruments. They are weighing scales, pH scale, autoclave, laminar flow hood, petri dishes and culture tubes incubator. These are the images of the instruments which we use in this bacteria culture. Procedure for absorbing bacterial growth in tap water using a culture medium. Collect tap water directly into a sterile container and label the sample for ensuring the taken sample. Weight the sample and record its mass accurately and record the pH of the tap water using a pH meter. Sterilize the sample using an autoclave at 120 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes to eliminate pre-existing microorganisms. After sterilization, bring the sample into a luminal flow hood to ensure aseptic conditions. Transfer the inoculated petri dish into an incubator. Incubate those for 28 to 48 hours that allows bacteria to grow. After incubation, we can observe the bacterial growth in the petri dish under the good sunlight. That is the result we observed. The forensic significance of bacteria. By this bacteria, we can determine the time since submersion. We can trace the sources like water sources. Evidence of drowning. Biofilm analysis. Contamination studies. Public health forensics. In this, we observed that tap water bacteria are both harmless and pathogenic microorganisms. While harmless bacteria are naturally present, harmful species like Lysonella pneumonia and E. coli pose significant public risk. In forensic contest, bacteria found in water serve as indicators for critical analysis, including time since submersion, tracing water sources, confirming drowning through microbial evidence. Bacterial profiles, including biofilling forming species, can offer insights into environmental conditions and contamination pathways proving useful in crime scene investigations. This is the picture of the bacteria on culture media. Conclusion In thus, the study of tap water bacteria is vital for public health, environmental safety and forensic science. In public health, it aids in identifying pathogens monitoring water quality and preventing disease outbreaks. In forensic science, it provides valuable evidence for determining cause of death, tracing contamination sources and reconstructing crime scenes. Continued research into microbial diversity, 
behavior and resistance patterns will improve water management systems public safety measures and forensic methodologies ensuring a comprehensive approach to health and legal investigations thank you